Hello everyone, Banyuki here again with another video. And today we're going to be talking about a discovery that I had uh, over the weekend and how it's pretty much a big PSA for those. So this one's a doozy. So everyone will know, see that in front of them is an XBR 960. It's a very, very great television, one of the last HD CRTs with super fine pitch. And I am fortunate enough to have two of them. I have them in a mirror mode over HDMI. This right now, the source is an Xbox One, oh no, excuse me, Xbox Series X. Now, the TVs support 480p, 720p converted to 540p or 1080i and 1080i. There's a mode on these televisions that's called high definition pass through. And if you enable that, anything being sent in 540p or 1080i is lag free. So it basically becomes as fast as one of these CRTs right here. And that's been the bane of these TV because uh, a lot of the modern GPUs have been pretty much giving up on 1080i. And um, one of my PCs has a Pascal GPU. Pascal was the last NVIDIA GPU that supported a 1080i resolution. And recently there's been a few driver updates that don't include 1080i anymore. So it puts people quite in a bind. Also, if you want to buy play a newer GPU, like I have an RTX 4090, the 4090 does not support 1080i. So what people have been doing and they've been discovering is like, hey, let's try to send the TV 540p. And 540p does work. In my previous video, uh, my friend's OSSC Pro had 540p working over HDMI, but on these screens, this one in front of me, specifically this one, it would give a picture, but you'd get a rolling black bar and you'd get no audio. That one over there took 540p over HDMI, fine. It didn't have an issue with it. So I am telling you right now, I'm using 540p as my resolution and it's working on this screen. Matter of fact, just to prove it, see that flickering mess in the menus? Anyone has the Sony HDSC CRTs knows with high definition pass through, this is what you get. And the device I'm using now is not the OSSC Pro, it is in fact the Pixel More 4K. That's right, folks. The More 4K can output a 540p output that is compatible with these TVs. Not only is it compatible, the More 4K does an amazing job of fixing certain problems. So here's how I did it. My friend's OSSC Pro works on these TVs, period. 540p is a bit of a challenge on these Sonys because like I showed, this TV here was not really compatible whereas the other one is over HDMI. So, I dug out an old HDMI to component converter, and that seems to work. And that's what I'm using right now. So, I'm actually using component video. That's right, component on this one and component on that one. And it's working like gangbusters. Not only does it look good, but it's also extremely quick. So, when I play these games, there's no lag. Oh, well, playing this on the phone is terrible. You get the idea. So anyway, it's great. Now, let me take off this screen so you guys can see there is a little bit of overscan on these guys, but it's not bad. Like you can see the mic meters. You can see the life bars down there. There is a tinge of overscan. And what we tried to do um, is we took that mold line that the OSSC had. And with the OSSC, we were able to get an image with the morph. No problem. And then after that, we went into a program called CRU on the PC. And we started messing with different dimensions and different resolutions. And... Using 1080i, we got something perfect that worked great. However, 
the component to uh, the HDMI to component adapter I have kept pushing the image over about 40 pixels. So my buddy uh, David, he actually came up with the idea of using a adjustment for a front porch back porch to get it to line up. And this is the result. So this is basically the mode line that I'm using. What's nice about the more 4K is that you're able to have two custom mode lines. So I have one generic 540p, the untouched mode line from the OSSC Pro. That's custom one. And then custom two is this mode line that I'm using specifically for my HDMI to component converter. And as you can see, it looks great. I have lag tested this with the time sleuth. I get one millisecond delay. I don't know where the delay is coming from. I don't know if it's the HDMI component. I don't know if it's the morph. But I do get one millisecond. One millisecond to me is just 20 microseconds faster than this HDCRT right here. So it is very, very impressive. So for those people who have these Sony TVs that were thinking, oh, I have to buy an OSTC Pro or I have to go out and get an HD Fury, eh, eh, eh. the more 4Ks does it. Now, there is um, a caveat to all of this. How does this work with non-HDMI sources? Well, the more you have to get the analog bridge or I use a RetroTINK uh, a 2X, the, the, the regular one. That's what I got. So I'm going to show you guys that one real quick. I just have to step away, switch the inputs, and then I'll show you guys exactly what happens. And I'll, sh and I'll put it up against this, this screen right here so you guys can see how it looks. So turning that screen on, switching over to a 240 port input. And this is very common on these Sony HD CRTs when you have DPSW. So this is what you get. It's supposed to look like this, but it looks like this. And that's because I have to do some adjustments in the scaling. Thankfully, the morph is actually really, really versatile. So I'm gonna hit the home. I go down to video, I go to scaler, and now I can play around with it. So I think I would have had it on like something like, I'm trying to remember what it was now. Whoa, whoa, that's too big. Let me go to auto. Let me change the aspect ratio. And there's so many different things with the morph. It's actually pretty nice the way it works. I'm very impressed with this hardware. And you can pick one up nowadays for 275. I personally am gonna be waiting for the uh what they call the cross point so yeah you could totally mess with these things it's, it's really cool i i really like this product now now that's now that it's like uh uh giving me what i really want in terms of um there we go that looks good so this is straight off my sega saturn you can see it right here that's what it looks like 240p i'm using the hd retrovision cables then I'm taking those HD RetroVision cables, I'm throwing it into the RetroTINK 2X, and then from the RetroTINK 2X, um, it kicks out the HDMI, I'm just doing digitizing, I'm not doing anything else, and bingo! Now I got 5, oh, let me change that back, but now I've got 540p the way I want it, and it's really cool, I'm, imp I'm, I'm impressed personally. Uh, let me see if I can get it back to the way it was. I think I had to mess with this one. These, I gotta lock in these settings. I, I should just write them down because I've only I've only been doing this for a couple hours, and I think you know what I think this the uh, vertical is too too tall. That might be it right there. Let's see. But yeah, you can play around with these these settings and you can lock it in the way you want. Jeez, I think I think I I can get it now. Hold on, let me see if I can. The morph sees it as um oh, you know what? I'm too zoomed in, aren't I? That's right. That's what it is. I'm too zoomed in. I swear, there's so many options with this thing. I mean, it's pretty incredible what how powerful it is. And it was only, I mean, I bought it uh, early day special for like 375 but the Morph guys, you know, they're pretty good. They know what's up. Um, they're probably like, why, who, who is going to use this uh, 
this, you know, 540p, 240p stuff. Well, there are people out there that have these TVs, and as you can see, it looks pretty good. I haven't really dealt with the scan lines or anything, but the color matches pretty well my SD CRT. It just, it just, you know what? It actually, what's funny about these HD CRTs with 540p, you actually do see scan lines, and the flickering is gone. So if those who have eye fatigue with 1080i, you don't have to really worry about it anymore. But that's just the big PSA for those HD CRT fans. I know there's not many of them out there, but they are out there. This is lag free, and now you don't have to go with these expensive routes. And I feel good about this because now this opens up these TV, wonderful TVs from just strictly, oh my God, I got to find something that does 1080i, like a PlayStation 4, a PlayStation 5, an Xbox 360. I mean, I know these off the top of my head because that's what I've been using them for. And, and they're great. And, you know, getting a PC and hoping Microsoft doesn't update and you know, hoping my 10 GTX 1080 Ti doesn't die because, you know, all the other GPUs, they don't support internet resolutions anymore. Well, here's a solution. Uh, I am hoping Pixel FX, if you guys are listening to this, I hope you are. Please make sure when the analog cross point comes out, you're able to kick out 540p over component. Then I can get rid of a bunch of junk in this chain and just make it much more streamlined. And I bet it'll look a lot better too. But this right now looks good to me. Sega Saturn going from 240p component to the RetroTank 2X makes it 280p, uh, 240p HDMI, feeding that to the morph, and then going to 540p. Very, very awesome. And let's not forget, the morph is a 4K60 product. So I was using it downstairs, but with this revelation, um, and it was just tinkering around. I mean, I had all the hardware. I just... I'm I'm on vacation right now, and this is more of a staycation. I finally actually had time to sit down and dial these things in, borrow an OSSC Pro, and see if I can copy and paste. And had a friend come over. He helped me out with the geometry, uh, not in terms of the TV, but just the fact of lining it up properly where it's actually centered, having a mode line where it's centered with the CRT. I, it's incredible. I'm really, really pleased with the Morph, and I hope everyone out there who has these TVs that are still having them kicking along you now have a product that will definitely do that and the osa c pro very nice machine but it's 335 dollars and it does not do 4k and yes i get this is only 540p but the ability to go to 4k to me is that that to me is a big bullet point that you know the only other ones i could think of are the retro tink uh 4k and then the Fortress 13 4K Pro, which, you know, is a whole other pricing tier altogether. But anyway, guys, that's my PSA. I will post the mode lines. I'll post both of them. I'll post the one that's straight out of the OSSC Pro, which does work. And then I'll post the one that uh, is the custom that has the back porch and everything centered off. You still got to play with some of the zooming and whatnot and the aspect ratio, as you saw before. But after you dial it in, you hit save, and you're good to go. And then look, I got them side to side to each other. Um, they look pretty good. I mean, Sony SD CRT versus Sony HD CRT. We have a battle of the battle of the behemoths here. But yeah, I'm very pleased with this. And uh, you know, I hope the I hope Pixel get that analog cross point out. You know, the guys like me are going to use it to its full extent. Anyway, everyone, take care.